David? Morning, Mike. David Moore, Dallas Morning News. Uh, having been your, your third time in the, the playoffs with this franchise, and it, I know you've said you talked to your team before. Do you talk to them at all this year about what did or didn't happen in the years proceeding up to this don't really involve you, or do you even need to have that conversation with this group? You mean prior to my time here? Uh, just prior to the, I mean, everyone will point to 28 years, not past the news. Oh, no, no, yeah, not at all. No, I, I mean, we, we have no responsibility to that. It's really not even uh, part of our, you know, no, not at all. Be wasting time. Can we move on? Yeah. You no, got wait. another, I know you're going to, you probably got another great yeah, question. No, no, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> just get warmed up, yeah. So. No, and individually as well, you were talking earlier in the week about, you know, your first year in the league, you go and you're going, oh, this is something yeah. that you just come to expect. Just, do you view these opportunities differently than you did earlier in your career as far as, you know, oh, definitely. I mean, I think it just heightens the urgency for all of us. And, and I think if you, you know, you look at, I mean, just talking with Dak, I mean, 2016 was his first year and, you know, you, you have a phenomenal re year and you think it's going to be like that every year. It's no different than myself back in, you know, 1993. So yeah, definitely. It's, it heightens the, the importance and, and the understanding of how, you know, special these opportunities are. And um, at the end of the day, you just got to keep your eye on the ball. But it doesn't heighten the pressure. I mean, you're able to compartmentalize that and no, I mean, it's, this is our world. We, we are chosen profession. So, Grant Silvers, Triple Talk. I'm speaking of your world just from a profession standpoint. The news of the last 24 hours with Nick Saban, mm -hmm. Pete Carroll, and, and Bill Belichick. Just reflect on those coaches and their careers. And well, I mean, you know, change is constant in in our league. But I think when you when you see, you know, careers, um, I mean, you, you just you, I think it's you need to you know show respect. Those guys have done it. You know. I mean, Coach Belichick and Coach Saban. I mean, I mean, it's their their numbers speak for themselves. But uh, the championships, the consistency, the longevity. Um, personally, I, I do feel you know sustained success is the biggest challenge in this league, and, and those two have done it as as good or better than anybody. Uh, Mike Tarter with ESPN. When you got here, you were excited to work with Dak, uh, mm -hmm. and, and that, that was a big selling point on, on coming here and taking the job. Where has he improved the most in your eyes since you, you got here, and then and maybe even this year the jump that he's made uh, from from last year to this year? Um, I mean, you know, he's always had very good command. Um, you know, as a, as, a, as a quarterback playing the position, uh, but his his com his command of, of the offense, um, I think, is clearly I think I, I feels very high is higher than it than it's ever been, and you know, and that, there's a number of things going to that. Obviously. You know, this thing was built uh, for him based off of things he's done in the past. I'm talking particularly in the, in the past game. Uh, we've expanded the protection part of it, too. So, I mean, he's just been given more tools uh, to be successful. And um, and he's, he's done a phen phenomenal job implementing it. John Michaud at The Athletic. Mike, you've worked with Dan Quinn now the last three years, you know, 12 win seasons, playoffs each season. What about your guys' working relationship? You think works well? What, what, how do you guys complement each other? Oh, I, I think just uh, you know, common, just common-minded. Uh, I, I think just the way we look at the game, uh, we look at the way the training of your football team, the importance of it. Um, you know, just really staying on top of the physical and the mental and the emotional, and make sure we're you know constantly in touch with that as far as the development of everybody, not just the players, but the coaches, particularly the young coaches. Um, Dan, Dan has a huge heart, um, you know, has, you know, just has great understanding of the human element and, and, and how it all fits together. But I, I just think, you know, from a program culture perspective, um, I think we both see it the same way. If you take yourself back to 2021 when, when he's hired, has it gone how you expect it? Yeah, definitely. No, I, yeah, definitely. It's it's uh it's as smooth of a, of a working relationship I've ever been a part of. Scott, Scott Dix with the AP. Aaron Jones is one of the few holdovers from your time in Green Bay. What do you remember of him early in his career, and what do you think of him now? Well, I mean, you know, Aaron just you know, loved his running style. You know, just the way he, you know, attacks the crease. Um, you know, no wasted movement. You know, just you know, in my my time with him, he, he, the only thing was he was he was just light. You know, he had, he had some injuries there the first two years, but you know, he, he's definitely someone. He's on the field, you better you better know where he is because uh, he's he's also dynamic out of the backfield. He has excellent hands, good good route runner. Um, you know, has a 
you know, a strong menu of routes, you know, so you know, wouldn't be surprised if you see more of that. Um, but uh, just a hell of a football player. Cal. Calvin Watkins, Dallas Morning News. How did uh, Tyler Smith look yesterday moving around? Tyler did well. Uh, he'll take a little more today, but he's making progress. We feel good about where he is. Uh, yesterday you alluded to this a little bit about Tony Pollard, the increased snaps. How do you obviously you think he's handled it well? Just, can you go a little bit more into that about just how he dealt with the extra workload considering what he did last year? Yeah, definitely. I mean, and, you know, we're asking the whole running back position to do more. So, and he's the leader of that room. Uh, so, I, I think Tony's had a heck of a year. Um, you know, I, you know, there's definitely a position that, you know, you know, play time's important. Um, you know, the health of those guys. It, it, that's tough. It's a tough position uh, to to go through the whole year uh, healthy. And so, and here he is coming off of a major injury. So, I, I think he's done a great job. Mike Ed Warder, ESPN. Um, given the advantages you seem to have in this game in terms of experienced team, um, playing at home, do you see, do you feel pressure or do you see opportunity? Oh, it's opportunity. Yeah, I, I don't know why we're on this pressure kick today. Um, but, yeah, I mean, this is it's a football game. It's a very important football game. You know, we, we've, we, we've done the things uh, necessary to, to be in this position. Uh, so, to me, the, the, the home and, you know, all that stuff is – you know, it, it it really it's it's nice. You know, it's part. It really is part of the training uh, component of it. But you know, when we get there, you know, Sunday afternoon, we're gonna you know we're gonna kick it off, cross the white lines, and go get it. So, and that's really where we are. Um, so yeah, that's it's it's all about the an excellent opportunity that we prepared ourselves and and we put ourselves in this position and uh, we earned it, deserved it, and most importantly, we're gonna take we're gonna take advantage of it. Nick, one other one other question, if I could. Um, Jerry said the difference this year is you going into the playoffs, and you're calling the plays for the first time, so you're, you could have greater control of the outcome of the game than you had previous playoffs. How does that manifest itself in a game like this? Well, I, I just think it's, um, you know, it's a, frankly to me, from my viewpoint, it's about job responsibility and direction. Um, it's really the, the position that I'm accustomed to. It's the position that I have the most experience in, and, um, you know, and. And once again, it's important for, for, for myself to do my job at a high level Sunday. Nick Harris, DallasCowboys.com. Uh, wide out for the fans on Sunday, obviously a lot of anticipation outside of the building. How do you expect the fans to impact the game? Oh, it'll be great. Uh, it'll be a great atmosphere. Obviously, you know, Packer fans travel well. So um, it's, it's, it's going to be awesome. I mean, our, our crowds this year have been phenomenal. Uh, I think they've gone to a, a whole different level. Uh, just going back to the beginning of the you know, Detroit game, um, you know, it, when it grabs a hold of you, um, you know, that, on that first play of the game, that, you know, you, you know, you know, you're in for a, a great, a great day or a great evening, and it's been that way, you know, every time we've teed it up this year at AT and T. So uh, we're expecting the same. Thinking back to 2016, was there anything that stood out about that environment, that playoff game? Uh, I mean, it was a great environment. Uh, so. Garrett. Garrett Cordell, CBS Sports. Mike Dak leads the league in touchdown passes. CB leads the league in catches. So that's the first teammate duo to achieve both those things since Wes Welker and Tom Brady in 2007. What does that say about your offense and your first year calling plays with them that they're achieving those type of numbers? Well, it, it tells you that CD and Dak are in great company. You know, so um, no, that's that's a that's a. You know, something that you know you love to see your players uh, achieve those, those those type of personal goals and everything. But it's you know it is all part of you know how we how we want to play an offense. So yeah, definitely, I think it's great for those guys to to, to you know, it's awesome when you see guys get awards and you know these Pro Bowl teams that are coming out. So you yeah, definitely want to applaud that. Two things. Um, Gilmore talked yesterday about he plans to play with a brace. What do you experience a guy playing with a brace on their shoulder, and, and, and what, what's the challenges? Uh, you know, every injury is different. Uh, so I, I think the big thing, and I, and I think Stefan's taking the right approach. Uh, today he'll do some. You know, he wants to get out there and move around with it, and, and um, you know, just because it's, it's a new experience for him. Uh, so, but, yeah, um, I've seen it done a number of times. Uh, but I think the biggest thing is getting comfortable with it and, um, and just, you know, we have a chance to do that because we're in, we're in a padded practice today. And you talked earlier about Dex can't command the knowledge of the offense, and he seems more confident. He talked about yesterday about, you know, the difference between being confident and being greedy. Have you seen him more confident? Is, and how does that manifest itself? 
Well, I mean, he, he's always been a, a confident person, but you know, I think you know so much of you know playing the quarterback position. Uh, there's so much relied on you, uh, you know, from a leadership role, and, and he and he spoos it so so naturally. Um, but you know, I, I think he's been able to take a step back, and, and some of this has been by design, and just you know just make sure he's absorbing all those positive vibes that he's contributing throughout the locker room to himself too. So uh, he's, he's very much engaged with where he is, um, you know, each and every day. Um, he's as disciplined as a as a worker that I've that I've ever uh, had the you know opportunity to work with. So uh, I just I just think his whole his whole energy is brighter. Yeah. Mike, um, your impressions of Jordan Love, first year starter, getting an, the Packers getting an awful lot of production out of first and second year receivers. Yeah, definitely. No, I'm impressed with Jordan. You know, I, I think he's made a lot of off you know off tempo plays, you know, extended plays, uh, you know, his ability to hang on the back foot and and make the, you know, their downfield passing game has, you know, caught our attention. So, and, and he's, a, he's a huge part of that. But, oh, yeah, I, th I think he's definitely doing a hell of a job. And I, I think just like anything with your football team, young or younger, not so young, you know, you want to see progress through the year. And, uh, and obviously the quarterback position is a big part of that. And, he, and he's, given the, he's given them that. So um, I think he's doing a hell of a job. Are there mannerisms that you see that you can tell he watched Aaron play for a couple of years? Oh yeah, no doubt. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely care over there, and that's a that's a huge you know benefit. Um, you know, and this is the third time it's it's happened up there. So yeah, definitely. Alrighty, thank you, Mike. Yeah, thank you.